What's going on everybody? This is Urban J Reviews and today we're going to take a look at an air fryer. If you guys are looking for other ideas to prepare your dinner and lunch, you're going to want an air fryer. This is the Kasori product. Let's begin. This is everything that comes in the box. It's already pre-assembled, ready to go out of the box. They've got instructions on the top and it comes with this Kasori. Looks like a cookbook. Let's open it up and see exactly what it is. There's a user's manual and they do have recipes. You know, one of the reasons why I got one of these air fryers is because of all that oil mess, you know, constantly having to buy vegetable oil, canola oil. Air fryer, not so messy, uh, not so much oil. Uh, they say it's healthier, so that's why we did it. By the way, the link will be below in the description if you guys want this exact product. Right here it says, do not fill with oil. This is not a deep fryer. Okay, so you can see there are some plastic that you're going to have to remove here. It's like some styrofoam also at the bottom of that. You've got some cardboard in there and to actually take this basket out slide this forward push the black button and bam before we actually cook anything we're gonna do a test run it says do a preheat to 400 degrees so we're gonna test run it 40 400 degrees for five minutes All right, so you can see we've got a variety of different settings for the food that you may be cooking. We've got steak, chicken, fish, shrimp, bacon. And then over here, you've got some frozen foods, French fries, which is obviously what we're gonna be cooking here shortly, some root vegetables, regular vegetables, uh, bread, desserts. Some of these other settings down here, obviously on off time, temperature, which we've already kind of shown you when we went over that to begin with. And to all the rookies, have no fear. It tells you right here how long and uh, how long they recommend to cook it. For example, the steak, 400 degrees or six minutes. So they also have it in degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. So there are some warnings that you're going to want to be aware of. For example, don't put anything on top when you're air frying this whole area right here. So don't put any drinks or plastics up there, especially if you're going to be walking out. You don't want to be doing that. And then it also tells you to cool let it cool before you clean it so don't try and uh, clean it when it's still really hot but anyway we're going to go over here to the care and maintenance real quick show you guys some of the care and maintenance stuff that you guys will want to know that's on page 20. and for this particular tutorial we're going to do some air fried french fries so for the uh french fries it says here add half one tablespoon 15 liters of oil for crispiness when we first started they said don't use oil what they mean is don't use large quantities of oil because here we are looking at the french fry instructions and it says you can actually use a little bit of oil so no more than two teaspoons or tablespoons of oil uh, and what that's going to do is add a little bit of crisp so you're probably going to just kind of spread that around the fries because i'm only really doing half a load of fries. I'm just gonna do one tablespoon, okay? And just spread it around on the fries here. And the only reason we're doing this, you don't have to do this. This is just to give it a little bit more crisp. So what we'll do is we'll actually pull the basket out here. It's kind of you want to make sure you line up those grooves in there, otherwise it won't fit back in there. So we'll go ahead and 
push that there. So I'm actually gonna try the French fry setting for this. And you can see it automatically presets 380 degrees for 25 minutes. And then I just hit play. So 25 minutes, let's see how they turn out. So it's saying that we need to pull this out and shake it. So we're just gonna shake it around a bit. Put it back. And it turns back on. All right. Wow. Those are definitely cooked. Let's try one. Maybe a little overcooked, but definitely crispy. All right, crisp test. So that was obviously our first time doing air frying. I would say that you would want to put a little bit more French fries in there if you're gonna do the full cycle of French fries. So I didn't fill it up all the way. So these got a little bit extra overcooked, which is okay because you know that was my lesson learned. So uh, when you do actually decide to follow those pre-recommended settings for steak or for veggies. Just make sure you fill it up in actual size that it's supposed to be set to. Anyways, this product works. It's solid. Uh, I look forward to using it and I've got magazines and I've got the recipe guides. So I'm definitely going to be using this. Hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, link below, subscribe to this channel. See you on the next one. Mm -hmm.